thing that I've been hearing about from Altair recently is a concept called AI fabric. And I'd love to just hear from you. What does that actually mean? Sure. So AI fabric is a new concept that Altair came up with because we were seeing a gap in the market and at customers. So traditionally we're an enterprise AI company and we provide tools for the development of AI uh, workflows and, and models. We were noticing that one of the big problems in creating AI models actually isn't in the AI itself, it's in everything that leads up to the AI. So data complexity in both data sources, but also in the system was causing a lot of friction, a lot of slowdowns in overall projects. And so we started to invest more and more in technologies that overcome these fundamental complexities within these organizations in both source and system complexity in providing more of a data fabric, something in that can overlay the maybe complex underlying data architecture and provide a much more simplified view of that data to both the business, but also to the uh, automation and, and business users that exist within the organization. And what was increasingly apparent is that with the, with the advent of generative AI, it was more and more important to describe data in semantic terms that the business and generative AI models understand. So maybe a little bit unintuitively, but generative AI models think a little bit different than traditional machine learning models. They think more in narratives and text and images and as opposed to the conventional rows and columns that you would see in, in a traditional AI tool. And so what we were finding is that you had to find a way to to take the maybe very complex underlying data architecture and describe it in a way that an generative AI model can understand with narratives and in terms of the, instead of having you know a bunch of underscores and characters and a table name, it's it's sales or invoices or or machine data, and in that way, generative AI models are much more able to work with data underlying data architecture. So the AI fabric brings together the semantic meaning the data fabric and the AI platform all into one thing so that more generative AI models can, can interact with data more intimately. So in terms of your customers who are looking for these types of solutions, what kind of problems can they actually solve with AI fabric? Sure. So AI fabric is a very interesting concept because it is intended to be the fastest path from complexity and confusion to implementing AI, AI automation and generative AI in organizations. So the problems that it can solve are very broad. It can solve the basic, you know, how can I get information out of a Oracle data warehouse and into a spreadsheet all the way through, how can I implement an AI agent to autonomously look for insights within my business and then deliver them to me. And so it's used at organizations, thousands of organizations for doing everything in between those two kind of endpoints. Great, Thank, thanks for sharing some of those use cases. I'd also love to chat about companies that are trying to scale and leveraging AI in order to scale. How would the AI fabric sort of help them get there? A lot of organizations are thinking to themselves, how can I take the next step in my, my data journey? And the AI fabric is really intended to guide organizations through this journey. It's intended to take you from, maybe you've been gone through 40 years of mergers and acquisitions and growth and you have dozens of different source systems that don't quite all talk to each other, overcome these, these differences in system, describe the entire data architecture in semantic terms, and then give you the tools that are necessary to build the right AI models and the right automation for the organization. And so if you're looking to scale up, this is a tool set and a platform that can take you from friction and confusion through to, to something that actually implements real value for the business. So Correct. from your own perspective, I wanted to hear what's sort of your favorite customer use case. We do business in a variety of different industries, like dozens of different industries. And so it's hard for me to pick a favorite, but there are a couple that I think stand out. Um, you know, we did an acquisition of a company called Cambridge Semantics about six months ago. And this was, uh, this moved us in a little bit of a different direction and enabled the AI fabric in the first place. It brought a lot more fundamental data fabric technologies to what was previously mostly an enterprise AI platform. And already this combination is proving to be very powerful. So in one organization in particular, we've been able to put together the Cambridge Semantics Knowledge Graph with the enterprise AI platform to deliver a conversational analytics uh, a component for their organization to be able to bring data insights and data access to a much broader group of people than we previously 
previously possible with conventional analytics tools. And so that brings a conversational analytics tool that can allow this, this pharmaceutical company to, to integrate or to, to, to interrogate their data set much, much more deeply than they were able to previously and get answers to questions much more quickly. And it provides deterministic answers, which I think is somewhat uncommon within generative AI solutions. It provides the, uh, the ability to be LLM agnostic. So generative AI is moving incredibly quickly right now. And so it's important to be able to think about how to switch fundamental technologies in your, your particular solution very quickly. And the Altair Rapid Miner platform on the AI fabric allows you to do that. And it's part of a broader platform, which means even though in this particular case, we delivered one one conversational analytics tool set, we're able to bring a lot more value across the organization through the platform itself. Yeah, I love that. So you mentioned that it's a pharmaceutical client, which um, brings to mind the the concept of hallucinations and potential issues that can occur. How, how does Altair address sort of that data security, data privacy, but also making sure that the data is accurate as it comes back in the um, the chatbot or a copilot, or I'm not sure what to yeah. call these things a little more. The copilot is what we call it. So we can call it that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, uh, governance is a very important uh, aspect of, of any data analytics ecosystem, and it's woven deeply into the AI fabric concept. The whole, one of the big points in bringing together data fabric plus AI platform is that governance isn't just about data and it's not just about AI models. It's about both. And so you want to be able to create a single governance model that can affect and control your entire ecosystem of data analytics automation, as well as the underlying data in one place to, for, to consolidate and make it a little bit more simple. And I think as far as hallucinations, the AI fabric brings the ability to be deterministic about particular uh, prompts. So for example, by, by, by having a knowledge graph and an AI platform in the same place, you're able to coordinate the, the question through the knowledge graph. The knowledge graph returns a deterministic answer because you had to do a specific query in order to get this answer out of the knowledge graph, returns a deterministic answer. And so there is no opportunity for hallucination between the AI platform and the knowledge graph. It's just the answer that you asked for. The only way that it would fail is if literally the, the information doesn't exist. So Christian, for people in the audience who want to learn more or try this out, where can they go? So of course you're able to to go to altair.com and look for Altair Rapid Miner, the platform. So of course the the platform overall is called Altair Rapid Miner, and it brings together all these different technologies that enable the AI fabric at organizations. And uh, and yeah, and you're welcome to come to Altair, and we can help with any particular data needs that you have. Awesome! Thank you so much for your time, Christian. All right, thank you. Your future, your way, only forward.